is what is the main reason you decided to become the CEO? So I think 1871 is uh, one of the most important things uh, that Chicago can you know, be focused on right now. And, you know, we're, we've become uh, an attraction, we've become a place, and you know, I, I really feel, because I believe that you know, uh, everything in the world is an iterative process, that if we stopped, if we rested on our laurels, if we said, boy, aren't we great, and didn't continue to grow and have facilities and resources and new businesses and all kinds of other uh, assets and things like that, that uh, we would lose our privacy and we wouldn't be a special place. And I think 1871 is a completely special place. And we want to build off of everything that's come to date and make it like 10 times greater. And that doesn't diminish in anything, in any respect, what's gone before. It's just that if you don't think things can get better, then you shouldn't be an entrepreneur for another reason. And, you know, look, I, my own life, you know, we always say it's not about luxury, it's not about big cars, it's not about money, it's about getting up every day and saying, shit, I get to go do something I'm really enthusiastic about. And, by the way, I haven't started here. So, in fact, I've been here every day. It's I just couldn't tell. My sickness, just my sickness. But I will start here in January. Uh, Talk about your vision. What kind of innovative ideas do you want to so, you know, I, this has been, I mean, I think this has, you know, been well written about, but I mean, we want to uh, continue to expand the uh, tools that we have here to enable our companies to be successful. When I have, you know, I've talked about uh, video studio to create videos for the companies, uh, videos about the companies, videos about 1871, uh, webcast, broadcast, all kinds of different things. So we've talked to, uh, you know, WTTW, we've talked to a lot of people about that. Uh, we've talked about uh, Indiegogo. I mean, we're minutes away from the SEC getting out of our way once and for all so that crowdsourcing will now be a source of crowdfunding. So equity for small businesses will be raised, you know, from the masses. <clears throat> and Indiegogo is the principal company in the world that's going to do that Kickstarter. Basically said, we don't want to do that. So we've already arranged for Indiegogo to open an office here, and these guys are scientists. I mean, they have they've done about 100,000 of these campaigns, but they can tell you about halfway into the campaign whether your perks are right, whether your video is right, whether your campaign is going to succeed or not. And they're going to be here coaching our, our companies to do that. And this is a whole other channel. It's amazing. This isn't uh, Series A or C. This is the whole world will be available to obtain financing, and they'll have the best coaches in the world. So that's that was another one. Uh, you know, we've talked about some international things with uh, London, where we spent some time not so long ago. Israel, where I'm headed in a week. Uh, Brazil, uh, you know, Brazil has 60 million people on Facebook. Uh, these markets are exploding. You know, if you want to be a, a player, you know, some of these places that seem remote are actually very fertile. Uh, 3D prototyping. I, you know, I'd love to see some more companies here that were about product. And I think we do a lot of 3D printing uh, at our offices already, and I think that uh, Zach Kaplan, you know, Inventables is probably the state of the art in the country. Uh, we'd like to have a lab, you know, here to do that. Uh, we'd like to figure out how people don't have to leave when they get to a certain size. So we're talking about building some suites that would accommodate uh, the next stage of growth for some of our companies so they can still have access to all the resources uh, but not go out somewhere and just be sort of the lone ranger in some, you know, sublet office space somewhere. Uh, I think, you know, all of those, and then I, I would say that the real, real bottom line is I believe that you can actually engineer successful startups. So we intend to have a curriculum, but it's not going to be the 43rd guy who teaches, you know, what mobile design, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, you can Get, he can teach you that anywhere. Uh, we want to have a curriculum and we want to have some, uh, some real substance around how do you make sure that you are optimizing the startups that are here to be successful. And I call that startup engineering, and that's going to be our secret sauce. 